The Omicron variant of coronavirus has now officially been confirmed in Denver. If we're being honest, though, it's probably been here for some time. The CDC said today that Omicron now accounts for 73% of all new cases. Transmission is clearly high. Severity is still a matter of discussion, but for now, it appears people who have received their booster shots are well protected. Denver 7's Megan Lopez spoke with someone who can speak to that firsthand. If you're like millions of Americans, you might be going over the river and through the woods or just over the highway and through the airport to get to grandma's house for the holidays. Health experts still insist it's safe. And I do believe that you can feel quite comfortable with a family setting, the dinners and the gatherings. But that's if you've taken safety precautions like getting vaccinated, even with the vaccines and the boosters. Did one of the rapid uh, home tests uh, and um, uh, popped up positive. There's still breakthrough cases like Congressman Jason Crow. Yeah, I'm feeling okay, just a very mild cold-like symptoms. Across Colorado and the country, the Omicron variant is becoming an increasing concern. So if even the people who are doing everything right are getting sick, is COVID inevitable? I don't think it's an inevitability. I don't think we're at that point. That's Dr. Michelle Barron from UC Health. She says it's not about not getting COVID. And the fact you didn't end up hospitalized, that's a win. Though she does understand why people who are hearing about these breakthrough infections are feeling frustrated. I can totally understand how that would be very disappointing, but guess what? You don't feel that bad. If you, most of the people that have broke through are usually asymptomatic or have really mild symptoms. Over at Sky Ridge Medical Center, Dr. Eric Lung says it's still largely the unvaccinated who are coming through his doors. If you're unvaccinated, I think you're just waiting for your time to come. But even if you've gotten vaccinated, he warns people not to let their guard down around the holidays. There can't be uh, just a blind faith on saying I've uh, had my booster and I'm bulletproof. I think that would be a fallacy. So all the things that did apply last year still apply now, like wearing a mask and social distancing. As for Congressman Crow, uh, Undoubtedly, had I not been vaccinated and boosted, I'd be in a much very much different situation than I am right now. He's now in quarantine and says he doesn't regret all the safety precautions he took, even with his diagnosis. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.